Another thing that I've been sort of noticing, and I wanted to do a, a Wars of the CBC episode on this, um, but I watched, they, they, they've been re-showing this Passionate Eye project from 2018, I saw, I watched the whole thing, but they're playing it a lot recently now, and I've seen this uh, medium played up a lot in uh, the American media, and I think it's sort of a coordinated globalist effort to take down our democracy. But it's, it's the journalism thing. So Justin Trudeau has bought and paid for the, journal, uh, the journalist industry. Mainstream media is government-controlled propaganda now. There is, the mainstream media is now officially fake news. Because Justin Trudeau won, CBC, Global, CTV, National Post, uh, The Star, The Globe and Mail, all the people who take money from the government are now fake news. They're all fake news. Because they're bought and paid for by the government. That's, that's what is this? Soviet Union? But more, it's more insidious than that. This is a lot more insidious because the documentaries I've been watching have been trying to take down, um, especially Facebook, um, but other social medias, and how people in social media influence elections. Remember, when Barack Obama used social media in his 2008 campaign, it was a symbol of how, how with it this guy Barack Obama is, how much he understands the youth, how clever he is, the new wave of politics. Well, social media is a real great thing. He's meeting the tech giants. And wow, isn't this social media news thing making us more connected and educated? Isn't it great? But then Donald Trump realized, you know what? I can use social media too. I can do it too. And then all of a sudden, it was the devil. But that's not it. It's not, it's not a Barack Obama, uh, Donald Trump thing. It's a media thing. The media is attacking it because they know who their enemy is, and that's me. It's the media that is not on the mainstream, because more people are watching alternative news sources than probably mainstream news sources now, and they are terrified. That's why they need their bailouts. And the government wants to give them these bailouts because these mainstream media sources are bought and paid for, right? It's good if you have all the mainstream media in your back pocket. That works out great for the Liberal Party. And it works out good for the media sources because, I remember, Donald Trump did not invent the term fake news. Fake news was invented by the mainstream media right after Trump won. I remember this clear as day because I, I was on alternative media. In two, I got into it in 2015. And all of a sudden, after the 2016 election, you saw Canadian, American, all the mainstream outlets start to talk about this phrase, fake news. It just, right out of nowhere one day, they tried to portray fake news. And what they're trying to do is portray everything that wasn't mainstream media as fake news. And I noticed this, when we all noticed this right away, and all the main alternative media people said, whoa, this is a coordinated attack against us. And one of my biggest, oh, thank God, President Trump moments was... When Donald Trump turned to CNN and said, no, you are fake news. I won't pretend that fake news is a Trumpian term and you are fake news, but fake news is actually a term that Trump took from the mainstream media, used to attack him, and spun it back around on them. And that was glorious. But the reason they're trying to take down Facebook is, listen, I, I, we started out on Facebook because I read a study in 2015 uh, that what's the number one news site in the world? Not the National Post, not the Toronto Star, not the Guardian, not the BBC. Facebook. Facebook is where most people get their news. Most people get their news on social media feeds. So I, we figured, hey, let's go to social media and, and, and be the news there because that's where most people are getting their news. So do the news there. Right? Seemed like a reasonable uh, thing to do. Now you have the mainstream media actively attacking uh, Facebook, especially because Facebook is where people get most of the news. They'll go for Instagram and Twitter later. But you were seeing stories being spun out by the American media. I've seen them today saying, if Donald Trump wins the next election, it will be because of Facebook. Now, let's just, let's for a second acknowledge how much logic you need to throw out the window to believe that statement. Right? You have to believe that Facebook only helps right-wing politicians. You have to believe that even after Barack Obama used Facebook and Twitter and Instagram successfully in 2008 and 2012 to help boost his campaign through social media, you have to believe that that's no longer possible. That only right-wing and conservative politicians know how to use social media. All left-wing politicians are completely inept when it comes to social media. And to, or people don't share left-wing news, it's absurd. It's a, an absurd proposition. But 
the liberals and now the NDP, who will who benefit from the same bias coverage because they're a bunch of lefties, they now have a a coalition that they can use. You've already seen this in Trudeau. Trudeau has said after the election he's going to be targeting uh, hate speech on social media. There was a, there was a, there was a clip I, I, I showed of him. Uh, uh, he was asked by a reporter two things. Uh, Section 91. He wanted to bring in hate speech laws. Um, and he wanted to revive Section 13, which he said he's going to... We're very... We, we, we are pro-free speech, but... But, being the operative word, right? We can't have hateful things, pe pe people say. So he wants to revive Section 13, the hate speech laws. And two, he wants to revive or make it illegal to spread misinformation about political leaders, which... How... How... How terrible an idea is that from a libertarian or Western perspective? But we just let him get away with it. The, ministry, the Minister of, of, of Institutions, Katrina Gold, has been going to Facebook and Google, talking about helping them monitor for fake news. The CBC has a fake news monitor that is in itself fake news. So the biggest thing you can expect from the Trudeau government going forward, or this liberal co coalition, is the first thing they're going to want to do is gain power. And after we've talked about this. Right? The SNC-Lavalin was an attempt to seize power of the judiciary into the executive. Now they want to control the narrative. This is the main goal of the left, especially in Canada right now. The main goal of this left-wing government, their biggest thing they will do, and you will not get it covered in the media because the media is being paid to keep quiet, is they want to buy and control the narrative. They want to shut down, censor, use hate speech laws, use whatever they can to buy beat and cudgel shows like this out of existence. And you saw it. I saw, if you watch the CBC Passion Eye documentary, they say, oh, the, the clause in, in, this, in the Internet Act of 1998 that no one thought that would allow the Internet to thrive in hate speech is, they basically pushed the publishing law that people on the Internet or different sites would not be responsible, legally responsible, what people post on those sites. That being said, like, if I post... You know, you know, no more Mexicans on Facebook. That's not a, uh, Facebook, you know, and that's, that, that, that speech belongs to me, not Facebook, which is a completely reasonable thing. It's like a public, right? A platform versus publisher, right? Bell and Rogers. If I call you, if I, listen, listen, let's say my name is Daniel Ben Laden, Von Osama Jr., okay? And I'm joining Al Qaeda or the Liberal Party, either one. And we decide, you know what? No, we love terrorism. And I call my, my friend, you there, the listener, and I say, on, on my Rogers, I, I have Rogers, you have Bell, and one one eight hundred terrorist. Hello, terrorist friend. Yes, this is Daniel Ben Laden, and you, the viewer here. And uh, yes, on Thursday we would like to do some terrorism. Yes, I'd like a yes. We're gonna suicide bomb um, the CN Tower. That's a suicide bombing. Yep. Okay. Get your get your homies together. Now, who's responsible there? I am responsible for conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You are responsible for committing a conspiracy. You know who isn't legally responsible there? Bell and Rogers. Because Bell and Rogers can't go in and screen every single phone call. That's an invasion of privacy. Right? They're not, they're not responsible. Like, if we were to be caught there, right, the police don't arrest Bell and Rogers. They arrest us, which makes a lot of sense. And this is how the internet works, too. But the liberals are going after that. So expect major cartels to media freedom and especially online news sources. So this is going to be one of the battles we're going to have to fight together moving forward.